Hi everybody, Anthony here from Crazy Tech Lab and today I'm going to be running through a quick demo of the latest Final Fantasy 15 benchmark which can enable DLSS for around. Nvidia's new RTX series graphics cards. So what I've got here is a side-by-side -side comparison of DLSS and TAA enabled in uh, in the benchmark. Uh, the side-by-side -side comparison so you can see the differences in image quality if there are any. I've noticed uh, just one or two differences but they're nothing too major. So as you can see DLSS is already um, performing better. You've got a higher score there already ready with uh, the GTX, sorry, RTX 2080 um, that I'm using for the benchmark compared to the RTX 2080 with TAA. So I will just let you look at the benchmark for the next minute or so and uh, see if you can pick out any differences in image quality. So let's look at the uh, the frame rates then, and uh, as you can see, the RTX 2080 with DLSS enabled is a huge amount faster than the GTX 1080. We're looking at a 95% increase in performance, moving from 21 frames per second minimum to 41 frames per second minimum, and not far short of that on the average frame rate as well. So a huge performance difference uh, by enabling DLSS. And also you can see that there's uh, a pretty tidy uplift going from TAA on the RTX 2080 to um, DLSS, there's about a 50% in form of performance improvement, which is what you're seeing in the higher score in the in the test as well, because that was with the same card, the, the RTX 2080, um, in the uh, the previous video that you saw, and that was uh, with TAA versus DLSS on the same card. So a huge performance increase here then, and uh, basically I want to see DLSS in as many games as possible because it offers a massive performance increase. So I should also mention the uh, standard benchmark result here is... Um, is what I've got is uh, the result from the standard benchmark that uh, the standard Final Fantasy benchmark, should I say, which has um, obviously no DLSS enabled. The new benchmark, just to make sure that Nvidia wasn't fiddling with it. <laughs> I'm sure they weren't, but just to, just to check, uh, there was a one frames per second difference between the two benchmarks using TAA on the RTX 2080. So I'm confident that there's been no fiddling going on there. Okay then, so the final graph is the performance uplift you can expect from the GTX 1080 to the RTX 2080 thanks to DLSS. So we're looking at around a 30% performance improvement going from the GTX 1080 to the RTX 2080 using temporal anti-aliasing. A slight difference there in terms of percentage between the normal benchmark and the DLSS um, enabled one, not with DLSS enabled of course, um, still in TAA mode. Um, and that's just because there was a, a very, very small difference in terms of the frame rate that I recorded in Fraps. However, when you enable DLSS on the RTX 2080, just look at that performance increase. 95% faster the RTX 2080 was compared to the GTX 1080 using temporal anti-aliasing. So I think if you're going to be buying uh, a DLS DLSS enabled games in the near future and you're going to be playing them a lot over the next couple of years, I think there's a very, very strong case for the RTX series here. Um, it's not going to be everywhere, of course, in current games or games that don't support it. It is questionable. They are very expensive, but given that you'll be seeing twice the frame rates, twice the performance in a lot of games, that is very, very compelling. So I would like to thank all of you for watching this, uh, this fairly short video and uh, don't forget to subscribe.